Hey everybody, this is JP from Stratablogster.com. I'm going to talk about a new guitar line just being yes. debuted okay. here. Yes. John McGuire. John McGuire Guitars. JohnMcGuireGuitars.com. Right around to the back. Open Look at the end of that head. Sure Look at the end of that headstock. Some of you may be familiar with the McGuire name uh, uh, associated with Valley Arts Guitars. See, there's that headstock again. Uh, Mike McGuire, John's father, was the original founder of Valley Arts Guitars. Then Mike went on to uh, work for Gibson, Gibson Custom Shop for many years. John also worked there. And John worked for uh, First Act Custom Shop. And now John is working for himself with JohnMcGuireGuitars.com, and they are only available right now from Music Machine in Kennewick, Washington. First dealer for John McGuire, and I'm I'm speaking to you, coming to you live here from uh, Kennewick, Washington. There's another model. All John McGuire guitars are the same body, neck configuration, style, um, kind of a Les Paul, okay, Telly right, style I'll body go. with a deep cut, uh, kind of like an Ibanez R RG cut, and the top uh, bevel contour there, like a Strat. Um, what differentiates the John McGuire models from one another is the pickup, pick guard, and bridge configuration. Here's a tunematic wrap bridge configuration with a pick guard. Here's a tele configuration pickup wise. Okay. We'll come down here ways. And we'll be back. Here's an S style configuration, a strat style configuration, for lack of a better term in that there are three pickups, a trim, it's a vintage style trim by Hipshot. Hipshot also makes the tuners on these. Uh, the tuners are 18 to 1 gear ratio. They come in a variety of finishes. This is a natural uh, ash body. Bodies are ash and um, mahogany typically. Here's a finish called uh, Dog Hair. I'm sorry for the reflection here, but this is a black guitar with really fine white highlights in it. And like I said, this finish is called Dog Hair. He does a lot, a lot of these natural finishes with uh, tint, kind of a burnt edge, various tints. There's the humbuckers. Here's the back again of a burst. Um, check out the uh, check out McGuire's. Uh, that's a bolt neck with one bolt. Um, they're calling it a tone socket, and what what is what that's about is that there is some kind of a cam. There's a cam inside, so there's a lot of metal, a lot of mass inside where the neck and the body interface, but it only requires uh, one bolt. And plus we've got a lot of relief in there. I guess we call that a scarfing or something. A lot of relief for high register playing. Here's another uh, two humbucker configuration. Here's a beautiful mahogany finish here. Back up a little bit. Okay, that's another one of those kind of burnt type finish. Tele configuration. Notice so well we have the brass compensated saddles. Okay, we'll take a look at that copper again. So John McGuire is located in the Boston area. Now, how did these guitars end up in Kennewick, Washington? Uh, well, what they have in common, what McGuire and Music Machine have in common, is the pickup supplier. Um, all of John McGuire guitars 
are equipped with pickups made by another new company called Vault, V-A-U-L-T, Vault Pickups. Uh, Vault Pickups are standard equipment on all Maguire guitars. Uh, Vault, and Vault Pickups is located uh, in the Eastern Washington area near Music Machine. Um, it's a new name, it's a new company, it's kind of a new launch, Vault Pickups, um, but the people behind it have been in the industry for like 30 years, they've been making pickups for decades. And if they're good enough for John McGuire, you must know that these are good pickups. Um, we'll get a demo together um, later on. Okay, so check the stuff on your screen. You can contact Music Machine um, for more details. You can also contact John McGuire at johnmcguire.com. But John is busy building guitars. And Music Machine right now has 10 of these babies in stock ready to ship. So check them out, John McGuire Guitars. Hey, here we are. We're going to do a little sound uh, demo for you. Um, we're going to do something with P90s here so you can have a comparison. We also have a Gibson uh, Les Paul uh, 50s tribute model, a new 50s tribute model, uh, American, with uh, P90s. So you can hear the difference between the Vault P90s, uh, a.k.a. pork chops, and a standard American Gibson P90. Okay? So... And this is that dog hair finish. Dog hair finish. Um, John McGuire guitars, folks. Bridge pickup. Gibson P90s. <laughs> Bridge pickup. Everything up. This one real quick, okay? You hear the difference again. We'll do this a couple times for you. Okay, how's that sound? Yeah, I'll give you maybe the specs uh, these McGuire's come with a ten or no, it's a 12 to 16 uh, compound radius, 6105 frets. It's a big uh, old C shape. And, um. All right, well. sound demo for you on these. Remember the neck joint, the tone socket neck joint. Hip shot tuners, 18 to 1 gear ratios. John McGuire guitars. Check them out. <laughs>